This video is brought to you by Optin Monster. Hey there, and thanks for tuning in in this month's State of WP Beginner, where we talk about the tutorials that have happened over the previous month, as well as some announcements from sister products. First off, the Optin Monster plugin has been updated where it just seamlessly syncs with your campaigns with your website, and so you don't have to go in and refresh campaigns all the time. They've also added Gutenberg block. That just means that you have the block editor you can go in there and add any Optin Monster campaign straight from the block editor, which is perfect. So make sure you check them out. WordPress 5.5 is coming out. And so we did an extensive article on the features as well as screenshots. And then also make sure you take a look as next week, I'll cover all of them in a video so you can see what's expected, see what's coming before it actually goes live. And if you're just getting started, this is always the question that people have is, which WordPress plan should you use? And because there's so many plans that are out there that each hosting provider will come up with their own. So we'll share with you the expert answer so you can pick the one real quick and move on to getting your website up and running. We did a tutorial on how to create a paywall in WordPress where you can also add a preview option so people can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. This is really very similar to many newspapers where they put a lot of the articles behind a, a paywall. But I kind of see it as also, it's almost like a paid newsletter where you have complete control over your content, your data, as well as the payments, and you don't have to share the payments with any other third party. So make sure you check it out if you're wanting to put your information behind a paywall. And then we set up how to sell group memberships in WordPress to corporate teams. So a lot of times you can do an individual course where usually a consumer or an individual will buy the course so that they can learn how to do a thing. But a lot of times there are groups in companies, for instance, we do that we need group training. And so this will show you how to set that up for your website. If you are mainly, mainly in B2B training, then this will work really well for you. We've created a how to create an alert bar in WordPress and three easy ways that you can do it. Usually it's just simple. It's usually the simplest, the simplest things that happen. You checked out Syed's email last week. In fact, he goes through how he really increased a lot of signups just by doing a simple bar notification bar at the top. So we walk you through three different ways that you can do that as well. If you are getting into e-commerce and authorize.net is your payment processor, then we show six best authorize.net WordPress plugins that allow you to integrate authorize.net in with your e-commerce platform. And then it's kind of interesting because family blogs seem to be on the uptick. And so we've put together 21 best WordPress themes for family blogs. So you can start sharing all of your family information on a beautiful theme that you choose from that. Next, if you are into products and you have an Instagram account, we show you this really cool way of how to add Instagram shoppable images in WordPress. And that simply allows you to sell your products with Instagram shoppable images, a really cool way to integrate your Instagram account and with your website and to get payments from that. And if you're wanting a quick way to increase conversions, email subscribers, or just converting more of your users into buyers on your website, then make sure you take a look at Optin Monster. Optin Monster does this so and so much more. To get started, just head over to optinmonster.com and make sure you use promo code WPB VIP to get the best discount on OptiMonster. And thanks for watching.